Fernanda Gonzalez. And I'm Estefan Lee. Today is Friday, April 18th. And you're watching The Way, Way of Me. We're going to begin today's announcement as always by saying a pledge of allegiance and taking a moment to sign for private purchase. Please stand and join us while we say the pledge of together. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America. America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Feeling hungry, Lobos? Today for lunch, grab yourself a fish and filet sandwich with coleslaw, chips, as well as an assorted milk and juice. Mmm, that sounds delicious. I'm definitely getting some after this. This past Wednesday, your girls and boys track teams competed at the district championship. If you have these students in your class, show them some love as they medaled yesterday and have a chance to qualify for a state championship. Bryce Johnson, Alexis Laura Mendez, Michael Essien, Josue Valdez, Irving Hassel Flores, Silvera Ormsby, Abigail Navarro, Leilana Vasquez, Nova Valenzuela, Amani Aguilar, Anthony DeRisi, Joseph Facundo, Tavarin, and Great work, and let's get it to the next two weeks and make state. Anyways, Lobos, here's your weather report with Leilana. Hey, Lobos, I'm Leilana Vasquez, and this is your Lobo weather. Today, we'll have a high of 95 and a low of 61. On Saturday, we'll have a high of 98 and a low of 63. And on Sunday, we'll have a high of 98 and a low of 63. It's finally getting warmer out, Lobos, so make sure to bring your water with you. I'm Leilana Vasquez, and now back to the studio with the Stephanie and Fernanda. Shout out to Ed Profession, who traveled to Tucson for FCCLA competition two weeks ago. We walked away with nine bronze, three silver, and one gold. We also have a national qualifying team. Saying congrats to Linda DeBerger and Valerie Cruz Lua. If you have any of these students, congratulate them on their achievements. If you have any of these students, congratulate them on their achievements. Danny Sincere, Brianna Ortiz, Rahima Niazi, Walter Ramirez, Desiree Hernandez, Fernanda Gonzalez, Rikiana Primis Booth, Delilah Murrow, Adam Blair, and Abby Navarro. Anyway, Lobos, here's your sports segment with Sebastian. Hey Lobos, I'm Sebastian Valdivia and here's some sports news. This Saturday, both baseball and softball will have a game against Sierra Linda at 9 a.m. Baseball will play away while softball will play here at La Jolla. On Monday, both teams will have a game against Desert Edge. Baseball will play away at 6 p.m. while softball will play here at La Jolla at 3.45 p.m. Anyways Lobos, that's all for sports news. Now back to the studio with Stephanie and Fernanda. In the U.S. this spring, our campus has been selected as one of these schools this will be a two-hour all-student assembly. It's been set up like a small festival or a carnival. There are interactive booths for music, fine arts, dance, journalism, and fashion. Your students will be able to play instruments, play on canvases, learn about music recording, learn about how to DJ, and learn about TV production and green screen, which will all be set up on site. There's also a stage with live performances throughout the assembly for the students who would prefer to just enjoy the music. There were be some prizes given out to the students during the assembly as well, which include a brand new guitar, DJ turntables, backpacks full of art supplies, microphones, and more. There will be a vocal recording booth for students to show their skills off as a singer. Don't go anywhere, Lobos. We'll be right back. My name is Ms. Arellano and I am an instructional aide for the ELD department and I came here from 2013-2017. I was lucky enough to attend High School Nation for three years of my high school um, experience. High School Nation was one of the best moments in high school. Um, I believe I was a sophomore, junior, and senior when it happened. Um, each experience was very different from the last. Um, I think it's really cool, it's really fun. It gets the kids involved with um, outside, I guess, activities. Um, yeah. My first impression about High School Nation was the same as the kids are feeling now. Um, I was very confused as to what it was, but I was excited to know what it was. So when we first got there, it looked like a 
mini Coachella, I guess you could say, but a, a school version. Um, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I was obviously a photographer for the event, so I worked a lot of like the back ends. Um, it was really fun. Um, the music was really cool. All of the vendors that were there were really cool, a lot of free stuff. Um, and who doesn't love live music? The most enjoyable part about High School Nation to me was being able to, um, I guess, experience the bands that I kind of grew up with. Um, one of the years were the Plain White Tees and I grew up a little emo, so it was really fun to see them um, here in person, especially at my high school. Um, so being able to experience live music was such a blessing and such an experience that I feel like everybody should have because everybody likes music and I feel like live music just makes everything better. Anyways, Lobos, that's all today for your Daily Lobo News. I'm Fernanda Gonzalez. And I'm Estefan Luque. And you're watching La Jolla Link. Link.